Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yoishi Man. Last time we did the sixth scenario of the William Wallace learning campaign, which is Fortune Alliance. And this time we're heading on to the Battle of Falkirk, which is the final scenario of this campaign. So let's hop on to it, uh, shall we? The only way we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself has sworn to join our forces and together we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. So our main objectives are build a castle, destroy the English castle. Very straightforward. So yeah, this hint is basically the same as the uh, last scenario's uh, uh, episodes, which is, um, if you haven't checked it out. So it's basically this use uh, advanced command. Uh, we have uh, been through this before. And then we have another hint. Different civilizations have different strengths. For example, the Scots, who are represented by the Celtic civilization, have powerful infantry. The Bretons have long-range archers. So, in technicality, we're kind of in a disadvantage since uh, archers are quite strong against uh, infantry. But yeah, um, so we have to rely on other units as well. And yeah, we are have to complete these walls because they're not complete, as, as he, the Scottish man tells us. So they can actually, you know, go through our gates and just raid the town, which I don't want to, to see it happen. Also, we can upgrade these, uh, that's very important. Uh, and create some villagers. Although we have don't want to be too wasteful with our food, because... We want to go to the castle age because uh, in order to actually build a castle, we need to go to the castle age. And yes, if you are short on uh, food, you can actually buy food from the market. Uh, it's kind of expensive uh, at the moment. It's one or thirty. I think we need some more vills right from the get go to keep going. And as the, as you can tell over here, uh, there are pikemen destroying our. Outposts. Outposts are quite, they're quite neat, but uh, they cost stone, I believe, and I personally don't build them. But yeah, posts, outposts are basically what they are. Just outposts. They have a, it's a building with a long line of sight. And it's mostly, you know, in standalone, you know, scout, kind of. I mean, you have a lot of... Uh, information in the map if it's not foggy and also I'm going to scope with these knights but I'm not don't want to be too close to, to uh, around these pikemen because um, pikemen are quite strong against knights I mean one by one uh, they're not so tough but um, a lot of pikemen attacking um, my knights are gonna be deadly for them for these uh, knights so I don't want to lose these knights but we can also attack these uh, pikemen with our archers because they're fairly strong against these uh, units. So Age of Empire is kind of a rock paper scissors game. Also, if we want to, you know, ever want to build a castle, we also need some stone. And uh, I think I'm going to focus on my uh, farming, so we have a lot of food. So Oh yeah, that, that's also one I want to get through. Uh, so and um, you have these uh, settings. You have the aggressive stance, which is uh, when an enemy when an enemy is nearby this unit, they will ultimately attack no matter what, and they follow them around, like here. However, on the defensive stance, they are still attacking, but only on a certain range, and they go back to that uh, s uh, same spot where they're standing. Then uh, we have stand grown, which they they don't follow uh, units to attack, but they can attack when they are nearby. Range units uh, can really make use of that. And then we have the no attack stance, 
which they don't uh, attack no matter what, except you when you assign them to. So it's actually, you know, when you really want to macro, oh, if you're really a master macro, uh, or you can basically utilize that. But anyway, uh, I'm actually going to put this in defensive stat, uh, stance. And he's also in defensive. That's how I really like to play. And I think I'm going to attack these uh, pikemen because... So we got that out of the way and honestly, it's not going to be a, a bad idea to keep these uh, outposts. I like to have some map control. It's also... Map control is also very important in Age of Empires and that has been overlooked by a lot of people. Or basically a lot of, uh, you know, players. But I'm not really a, an expert in this. So uh, there are a lot of uh, different factors uh, you have to take in account of this game. But yeah, like I said, Age of Empires is kind of a rock bait of scissors uh, game. So these archers are quite strong against these pikemen because they can just do this. That's actually the beauty of archers because uh, you can macro them. I'm not uh, really good at macroing. And yes, uh, this pikeman goes away because our archers are quite slow. And these pikemen are running fairly fast. I'm also going to research wheelbarrow and then I think I'm ready to go to the castle age. So we can upgrade our units as well as uh, we can build or finally a castle. I'm not going... I think we have enough for a castle, yes. Enough stone. So I'm actually going to assign him to uh, to collect gold. I think that will be good. Um, do you want to upgrade or n not uh, on the blacksmith? Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, what I want to do however is just cut some more. Don't forget, keep exploring the map. <laughs> That's a line I always remember. And this is a quite of a long distance so I'm actually going to build a mining camp here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit wasteful on the wood side, but it's, it's actually good long term. I mean, I get uh, uh, gold faster. And yeah, we're waiting for that. Okay. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> um, what to do? I think I want to have some map control so we have this area checked. And I think I want to build a military base right here, so building a barracks won't hurt. It's actually have quite useful to have some more military buildings, so it's more accessible. Even though it might not be the place to build it, now I come to think of it. And maybe I should uh, sign a villager uh, towards that area. Um, what? I can actually, you know, send a lumberjack here and just build something here so I get my units quicker right here if we want to attack because I believe this is the only way to get there yeah I think it is we can also build a dock and just use a transport but I don't know cost population space uh, and I don't think it's necessary to control the water uh, you can chop some wood. Do we have some other uh, lazy villagers? Uh, this one. Uh, you can build a barracks. Also, there's no need to build houses because uh, we're already, already at the population max. So we ne don't need to m worry about, you know, housing and stuff. Even though we're quite low on the whole, uh, population space itself. Because it's one of the lower population uh, spaces you can get in uh, Age of Vampires games. But it's mostly for, you know, these type of scenarios. Yes, we're at the castle age. Hmm, I should do this first things first, and this. And we don't have any wood, so creating more villagers is the key. Oh. I think I want to keep get this in check. Um, also, yeah, we lost our knight because I wasn't we I was being careless. Uh, I, I don't think it's a smart idea to get knights here because the English like to, you know, attack with uh, spearmen. 
Uh, I think I'm going to upgrade my militia units into men at arms. Uh, yeah, I'm also going to research striking. So we have a lot of uh, line of sights, and yeah, that was a wolf. <laughs> that was just a sneaky wolf right here. Ah, uh, we have to focus one by one. Here we go. Uh, I think I'm going to create some more archers. Uh, not to come to think of it, some skirmishers will do. I mean, a mix of archers and skirmishers are also quite useful. Uh, I think I'm... Well, do I really want to upgrade? Um, I should wait. Uh, I'm gonna create some more vills. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do these quite yet. Oh. Yeah, I already have enough. Uh, let's build the castle. Um, I don't... I don't want to build it uh, right in front of the uh, walls because they're they're quite vulnerable um, when they attack with trebuchets. But I don't believe uh, the English are attacking uh, with trebuchets in this scenario. But I could be wrong. We can build a castle right here. I think this is fine. And we, as long as we keep this um, this area and check it, it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm going to assign these units uh, to go here, just to basically control the area. We can also uh, build a, a siege workshop, which allows you to, you know, penetrate these walls. Because uh, it's it's gonna be tedious when you use uh, uh, some basic units like knights. Even will will take a long time to get through these walls. And yes, I'm going to build it right here. So we're building some walls, and I guess I want to build some knights. Uh, I rather want to go with militias, and I mean men at arms, and some archers, and some mix with uh, skirmishers. That might not hurt. Uh, oh fuck it! I'm going for the long swords, man. I don't think knights will be quite useful in this. Yeah, I'm gonna create. Oh no, we don't have wood. Okay. Gonna build some more villagers or create some. I, I usually say build uh, when I create, but it's actually creating. Um, bit short on the uh, side on my resources. Yes, we have built the castle. Yes, we can actually. Planning. We can actually plan to attack the enemy base. I think uh, Wallace will come soon. Speaking of Wallace, we also have an ally, which is Wallace, which gives us, gives us uh, these units. Just oh look, we have Gal Gavardier. So for how do you pronounce this? Some calves, some heavy calves, and we also have some war traders, which are unique units of the Celts. And we have William Wallace, which is a hero character. And look at these stats, man, of that hero. My, oh my, twenty uh, attack. Base attack and plus four. Oh yeah, we cannot uh, create any any more because we are we actually exceeded the population cap. Um, so I think I'm going to focus more on. Uh, can we? We cannot even bully. Ooh, we have, maybe have to get rid of uh, some uh, units because otherwise we cannot penetrate to these uh, walls. Oh crap. <laughs> Well, maybe we can go for a sneak attack, We're basically sacrificing some vills. You know what, let's sacrifice some will vills. Uh, some more. Um, we don't need you anymore, you're fired all, everyone. Um, make sure to cancel everything out, uh, so we're not creating anything. But... Uh, but uh, you know, siege units. I think siege units are are necessary. Uh, let's destroy some more units. You're fired. You're fired. Yeah, it's really gruesome, but you know that's war for ya. War is gruesome. Okay. Um, I know you like to raid, but please just wait until we have battering rams ready. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's actually only in Pale Age, but I don't think I'm going to make use of it uh, this episode. Uh, we'll get to that uh, at some later point when we do some other scenarios, or perhaps doing a random map game. I think this is uh, enough. But I have to upgrade my units. And I'm gonna sell some food for some resources. And bot can arrow. Also, if you have a castle, they still have a minimum range, so I suggest, you know, build a university and then research murder holes. So you can get around these uh, minimum range. And uh, we have kind of out of wood. But that's okay. Also, no sexual pun intended. Uh, damn it, I cannot upgrade them because I'm short on stuff. But I don't think we have to worry about, you know, stone. Uh, let's uh, worry about, you know, our food situation. Because I've fired a lot of uh, people. And that is a bit of a dent on, on our economy. Okay, we have our uh, ramps ready. What you can do is just use this. I've actually explained this in the last episode. You can actually, you know, send these in. And when uh, they attack your ramps, just unleash uh, this, these ramps. So yes, we have William walls on our side, so we cannot lose. We shall attack. And perhaps, you know, meanwhile we're attacking, just upgrade stuff. Okay, um, I'm not going to, I'm not trusting. Okay, there's a, it's just a longbow man. So knights are quite uh, strong against uh, longbow man. Oh yeah, yeah, the calves, uh, cavaliers are basically, uh, the upgraded version of knights, which you can get in the Imperial Age. We just happen to, you know, get it from the ally, Wallace. So yeah, um, oh yeah, that was quite flickering, that's why. Um, I'm going to research hand card. Well, actually we don't need that. We should actually focus more on the uh, unit upgrades. Um, let's upgrade this, and we can upgrade uh, our skirmishes into uh, these beefy they are not really beefy the elite skirms, but they are quite strong. I mean, significantly stronger. It's not a massive upgrade, but it's significant at least. I think it's one of the more useful uh, upgrades. Uh, we can assign these uh, guys to attack. Oh, that's a that's a pikeman. We don't like that. I think they have a minimum range since he doesn't. Uh, Research murder holes, which you need to do if you want to protect your, uh, you know, your towers and castles. Otherwise, melee units can just attack open season. So I think it's time for a raid. Um, you can scout around here. Don't forget, keep exploring the map. Um, what can we do? And uh, no, I'm not going to. It's not necessary to upgrade. Um economic uh, stuff. I think we're fine. We can create some more units. I think I'm going to create some more war traders. It's a really good uh, raiding unit. Because um, infantry move... Uh, uh, Gals infantry move actually faster. That's actually the bonus. Which is quite useful if you want to travel uh, from one distance to another. And I think uh, we got rid of these. Um, we can also get rid of the town center, so so the area, the economy, economy is quite hindered. Um, yeah, I think we're out of uh, you know population space. I'm also going to you know uh, get some upgrades for our uh, infantry because that's what we mostly use. I'm not going for the beefy night play because. Once again, uh, the Englishman likes to use pikes, and I want to, you, you know, counter them with other stuff. I don't think knights are that useful in this particular scenario. No pun intended, <laughs> because scenario, scenario. And yes, we can also leash these uh, these knights on these uh, poor and innocent villagers. Yeah, war. Keep in mind, war is gruesome. And I think we forgot to, you know, uh, to research Stonewatch. Doesn't hurt to research it. 
And I don't think we have enough uh, food to get this. Oh, we have. Okay. And I believe uh, if, if we scout around, there should be the English uh, castle. We can also scout around here. What's here? I mean, scouting is good. But I feel like there's going to be a castle. Yes. Yeah, I've actually, you know, played this scenario before, so I know where everything is. So, that's about it. Uh, you know what, for fun, let's crash into it. With our units. Well, our units actually going to die in this. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary. We can actually scout around here. Around the castle. Oh, can we get uh, to the other side uh, from here? Oh, there's... The Okay, my units uh, want to attack. They won't, don't want to miss uh, the action. Okay. Yes, we have done it. That was quite easy. Yeah. We have sacrificed some uh, villagers, as well as enemy villagers. But we did it. We have got rid of the English, once and for all. Well, until the next war. We could have also, you know, uh, get rid of these uh, transport ships and uh, galley, or is it a galleon? It's a galleon, okay. Um, yeah, so, so we have, don't need to, you know, get rid of the, as much villages as we did. But anyway, we have fun, so let's uh, let's uh, watch the conclusion. It looked certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk, yet somehow. Though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious! English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one will be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he's but one man, he inspires great deeds in others, and many of the Scottish princes and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forged, of course, in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, but we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who will know fear. And that was the William Wallace learning campaign. So until next time, uh, um, to the next campaign. Uh, so what I'm actually going to plan to do is uh, I'm actually going to make some playlists about a certain campaign. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the upload schedule. So I might do some scenarios of John of Arc, but I'm going to do as well as Saladin. It's going to be sporadically. Then I'm going to update these uh, campaigns as well. So I'm not going to do everything in order, but you make sure you actually, you know, follow the uh, playlist on my channel. So you can actually, you know, get all the Age of Empires uploads. So on that note, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment, like, subscribe and do all this good stuff. And I will see you in the next campaign, which is going to be Joan of Arc. But as I said before, I'm actually going to do also going to do... Barbara Rose, uh, meanwhile, and as I'm going to do John of Arc or Genghis Khan or Saladin. Not sure how I'm, go how I'm going to plan this out, but you can also rely on the playlist that I'm going to create. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye!